Lord immediately convicted me. Like, it's not that I have to go work out. It is a privilege to go to the gym. I thank you that I get to go take care of my body in this way. Now with some spicy Whataburger ketchup, and then it's just two eggs with some holy sausage. This man gonna tell me that pursuing women is toxic. Talk about being thankful that the Lord did not give me what I thought I wanted. There is never a time that God will withhold something that is good for you. What may have worked in that season may not be the formula that's going to work for you in this season. And that is okay. I haven't seen her in years and I saw her today. You're about to walk into something. I know this is going to hurt you, but listen to what I'm telling you. I gained all of this momentum creating my YouTube channel. I gained all of this momentum putting all of this work into creating a fan base on TikTok just for me to go into this depressive mode and lose everything. Already, I'm just like, Kenzie, there is no reason she asked me. Hey bookies, come with me to change. It is 5.36 and I'm about to go to the gym. Before I change my mind, we about to change and we about to get it going. Today I'm going to go to my apartment gym because I really don't feel like going in the first place. But we all know that things are not fast, so we're going to go get it in anyway. And so since I don't feel like going to the gym, period, we're just going to go make it do what it do in my apartment gym. So hopefully it's not that many people. We're not going to go to crunch today because I don't feel like dealing with all of them people. And like, can we just talk about it? Because I always say, because y'all know there have been seasons in my life where I've been a morning girly and then I've been an after work girly. I'm trying to get back to being a morning girly, but I always say that it takes so much discipline to get back to being a morning girl because baby once i lose it i lose it but there are literally so many different battles and pros and cons to both yes there's so much discipline that comes with going in the morning because who likes to wake up early but there is also so much discipline that go that comes with going after work because who wants to go after work i am tired anyway let's change and let's get to this gym mm -hmm. She's back. All right, y'all. So we are ready to go to the gym, ready as we're ever going to be. While I was getting dressed, I found myself like moping around like, okay, we got to go work out because we have these goals. And then the Lord immediately convicted me like, it's not that I have to go work out. Let's change that perspective. Let's get some gratitude up in it. Lord, I thank you that I'm able to go work out. Lord, I thank you that I'm able. I'm thank you. I thank you for my limbs. I thank you that I get to go to the gym. It is a privilege to go to the gym. I thank you that I get to go take care of my body in this way. So I, I'm happy that I was able to turn it around in this way. And for those that are new here, like the gym is truly my thing. I think really the main thing right now is that the medication that I'm on, the antidepressant, is still just zapping my energy away and I'm fighting to like combat it. But I have no energy and I'm also not able to take my pre-workout right now. So it's just a lot, but we try to make it do what it do. But outside of that, I was really proud of myself because your girl done finished her gallon of water already and it is not even 6 p.m. Since I'm trying to get back on my morning routine, um, one thing about it, I'm trying to get my water done before I leave work. Because even though like on my gallon of water, it says to get it done before 7 if I'm drinking still by 7 p.m., I'm still going to be peeing by 10, 11, and I don't got time for that. So my main goal is to be done drinking by the time I leave work. So I can probably just have like a little glass or whatever with dinner and be done. So I'm really proud about that. Today was a successful day of calorie counting. Of course, we still have dinner to go, but I literally, excuse me, I literally planned my whole day of eating already last night. So as long as we stick to it and I get to complete my diary at the end of the day, like sticking to what I said, then maybe we're good and we're Gucci and I'm so excited. There is going to be a what I eat in a day vlog coming out once I actually seeing, once I actually start seeing some results on the scale. I just want to make sure like what I'm doing is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be like consistent with it. But I know right now that I have been obsessed with eating rotisserie chicken and lime and cilantro rice for lunch. I've had that for like two weeks consistently and your girl is not over it. 
she's not over it. And this is my third week having it, and I'm not over it. Um, for dinner, I'll show you guys my dinner, but I just make some eggs with some holy sausage in it. I'll probably make some salsa, and I may make me a hash brown on the side. I'll have to see what my calories are looking like, because I forgot I have hash browns in the freezer. I really want some cherry plums, but Crest don't got no cherry plums. Anyway, I'm getting off topic, because I'm styling. Let's go to the gym. All right, bookies, I'm home from the gym, and clearly I'm like all showered up and all the things. I think I burned like 540 something calories in the gym. Um, it's definitely one of those days where like in my last vlog I was talking about, didn't go balls to the wall, but I did the very best that I could with the energy that I had. So I am proud of me. I am so ready to go to bed. I am exhausted. I'm exhausted. So I'm eating my dinner. Already chugged my um, Premier Protein Shake um, because I wanted some sweet tea. That's just one of my things that I love so very much. And so I don't know if you can see it very clearly. Um, I ended up making me a hash brown. So yeah, with some spicy Whataburger ketchup. And then it's just two eggs with some poly sausage mixed in. I'm not going to tell you guys like how many calories I'm trying to hit for my deficit because I don't want somebody, you know, to like look at my body and think that we're the same because baby, everybody's body is different. I want you to go to Google and find you that calorie calculator and figure out what your deficit needs to be specific. Oh my God. Specific to your body. Now she gonna want it and I'm gonna have to give it to both of them. Um, I need you to go and find it specific to your body. But what I will tell you that I'm so very proud of is for today, I've hit 92 grams of protein and I'm trying to aim for a hundred grams of protein. And then of course I want to up it. Girl. Mm. Mm -hmm. because i'm trying to do baby steps because mm, 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 mm. if i off the bat told myself i want to aim to hit i don't know 170 grams of protein i would be so overwhelmed there's no way i would be able to do it so i figured if i told myself let's try to hit 100 grams of protein a day and then maybe next month, okay, let's try to hit 115 grams of protein a day. You know, and then gradually start increasing it until we get to that 160, 170 grams of protein a day. That's that's going to be the goal. That's going to be the goal. But anywho, y'all, I'm about to eat this. And then I'm probably about to watch an episode of Too Hot to Handle. And then we're getting up in the morning to get to the gym. There's no excuses. I literally told my friend on my YouTube channel I'm getting up in the morning. And she said, not on the YouTube channel, baby, on the YouTube channel. All y'all bookies, period. We're getting up in the morning and we're going to the gym. And honestly, like I said, it's just pros and cons to going in the morning and or going after work. And for me, I just need to get it out the way in the morning because after work, I just, I don't have it in me. Especially if I can't take a workout, I don't got it in me. So I'm going to see y'all later. I love y'all. Good night. Y'all didn't believe me when I said I was going to wake up this morning, huh? I know you didn't, but I had did boom um but it's 6 21 and i am yeah becca and i'm leaving the gym i'm super proud of myself for waking up and i ain't gonna hold you of course i wanted to stay in my bed but i remember that i put it on my youtube channel and i remember i put it on y'all booky butt so i knew i had to get up and at the end of the day i knew that i would have woke up and been so mad at myself and i just didn't want to feel that same feeling again and so I got the freak up and so I was like period can you go bookie boo and I know it's pretty dark right now I didn't put my flash on so y'all just gonna have to deal with it for now um but something I want to talk about on my way home that I forgot to tell y'all so there was this dude that I was talking to um and I told y'all about him a while ago when I was telling you guys how um hold on because I know y'all can't see me okay um, I told you guys about him when I was like, I thought I was all in love and whatever. And I was spending the weekends with this man and stuff. And can we just talk about being thankful that the Lord did not give us what we wanted when we swore that's what we wanted. Being thankful that the Lord knew better. Y'all, this man had the nerve to go off on me. And it's funny because I don't even feel like talking about this right now. Y'all about to be mad at me because I don't feel like even talking about it. Y'all ever do that when y'all like start stories and then it's like, I don't even feel like talking about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. So long story short, this man was doing like this bait and switch type of thing. Like he was like, nah, for real, I miss you and I truly want you to have my last name. And then I wouldn't hear from him for some weeks. 
and then he would come back and say can i take you out to the movies and then i wouldn't hear from him and then he came back and um he was asking like how my saturday was going and tried to flirt with me and we was just kicking it up right and then it ended up going into why are you acting like that and i was just like i'm not really into inconsistent men like we can just keep it as friends you know what i mean and he ended up no i ended up telling him like you know we can stay friends. I'd rather just wait for the man that's gonna be consistent with me and pursue me. I'll wait for the man that feels like I'm worth the pursuit. And at the end of the day, like we can keep it kosher. This man gonna tell me that pursuing women is toxic. I'm gonna put the screenshot in here of what this man told me. I was like, <sighs> talk about being thankful that the Lord did not give me what I thought I wanted. I'm going to end the note on that. This man said, pursuing women is toxic in itself. And then at the end of that, the man blocked me. I said, if that's not B-I-T-C-H-A-S-S-N-I-G-G-A activity, then I don't know what it is. And I digress. Y'all, I am sick. I am sick. How do we go from it literally being 68 degrees? This is what I be talking about when I be talking about Oklahoma be on that bull shiz nae. It was 68 degrees on Saturday. It is now 101. We were back in the triple digits. I swear Oklahoma just likes to tease you with it. And then it takes it back, tease you with it and takes you back. What do they be saying? Stop introducing me to a vibe that you are not here to maintain. Anyway, don't y'all pay attention to this little zip. Boy, this zit has came and tried to take over my life. I'm going to go home and put some toothpaste on it. I haven't gotten into those pimple patches. Do y'all be using pimple patches? I've been seeing a lot of people use them, and I need to buy them, but I never think about it until I actually get a pimple. Um, but with that being said, I am on my way to Cane's. Uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Um, that is why I prep for lunches and for dinners, because I always know there's going to be a day out of the week where I want to eat out. However, I just didn't know that that day was going to be on Tuesday, but I was like, hey, girl, it's on Tuesday, so you know what you got to do. You got to make it do what it do. Them preps better be eight, and it, it is what it is. I told myself, if I get canes today, then that means I can't have S&B burgers for lunch tomorrow, and that's going to suck, but it is what it is. I'll choose canes, and I have the, a lot of calories for it. Since I worked out this morning and I intermittent fasted, I literally have over fifteen hundred dollars to spend so we are in there um but anyway so going back to what i was going to tell you guys this morning but didn't feel like talking about so there was this guy that i was talking about in some vlogs back where i was like all spitting i was like y'all i'm in love i think i done found my man i don't remember what type of energy i was on but i was just like i was very smitten i was like i'm spending my weekends with him i was just very excited about whatever potentially it was going to end up being and long story short we just kind of fell out the fire was no longer on fire and he's been doing like this bait and switch thing where it's like he wants to come in and y'all I don't even really know where to start y'all it's really so much and it's such a long story and I ain't even trying to put all of that business out on YouTube so I guess what I will say is that as of late, I feel like he's been a very bait and switch type of guy. Like I feel like he's very bothered by the fact that I'm not bothered and chasing up behind this man. I feel like he thought I was about to be given this desperate female energy that I was going to be texting him, calling him, where you at, why you ain't talking to me, I miss you. None of that, baby, because if you're not giving me that type of energy, I'm not giving that back to you. When I was on you, I was on. But the second you show me that I'm being a fool, baby, I will back the F off. Anybody like that? Because let me tell you something. When I am on you, I am on you heavy. But the second, and I mean the millisecond, the millisecond you show me that I am being a fool behind you, I will back the freak off like I never knew you. And I promise you that. And that's exactly what I did. And I don't think he expected that, right? And so I think that bothered him. So he would come and start doing this bait and switch thing where he misses me so much and he would sweet talk me and then he would ghost me for some more days, weeks, whatever the case may be. He would come back, say, I truly want you to have my last name and then not talk to me for some days, weeks, whatever the case. 
and then come back. Hey, I would love to take you out to the movies. I tell this man, yes, let's go to the movies. I love me a good movie. Don't hear from this man. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, so it's very clear that this is a game to you. And at this point, I'm playing a game with him. Let's play the game. Like, you just doing this bait and switch thing. Like, baby, I don't understand what we're doing, but hey. Um, so anyway, long story short, the man ends up telling me that the fire ended up burning out after the last scenario or the last situation that we had after I said what I said. Mind you, the situation that he's talking about, he told me what I said that killed the fire and the passion between us two or whatever is when I asked him about the situation between him and his baby moms, which in my opinion is a very adult thing to ask. I asked him about the relationship between him and his baby mother. I asked him if he still had feelings for her very valid and i asked him if he was in love with her a very valid question to ask a man that i'm getting to know possibly to be in a relationship with and he told me that bothered him because my head was everywhere else but where it should have been is what that man told me so at that point check me out because huh how are those not valid questions i am so very much so confused because what are we doing here so that's where he's saying um, that's how the fire died after I said what I said. All in all, I just want to thank the Lord so much that he did not give me what I was praying so hard for. And in situations like this where I just have to remember when I'm praying so hard for things, Mackenzie, remember that there is never a time that God will withhold something that is good for me. There is never a time that God will withhold something that is good for you. I am so thankful that God never gave me that. Ain't no goddamn way. Pursuing a woman is toxic? Oh, you can, you can be in the streets. Boy, anyway, that's all. I thought that was insanity. I can't, I can't make this up. And then it was so funny. So there's a dude that I'm talking to. Y'all, y'all gonna hear me say there's a dude that I'm talking to. Just mind you, I'm in the dating pool it's nothing serious at the moment. I'm literally just communicating with different men right now. And so I jokingly text him and I'm like, hey, um, do you think pursuing a woman is toxic? And he said, no, as a man, that's my job. I said, real man energy. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Bookies. It is Wednesday. It is 520. I'm parked outside of the gym, about to go make it do what it do. But of course, y'all know I had to come and check in with y'all. Please do, like, just forgive me. I don't understand why my hair is treating me like this, but it just wanted to be this frizzy mess. Best believe tomorrow y'all will see me in a slick back bun with the edges laid. But anyway, y'all, so I know that I've been telling y'all I couldn't take any pre-workout because of this medication that I'm taking, but um, I'm testing the waters because something gonna have to give. You can't just zap my energy away like no something's gonna have to give just something gonna have to give so i did half a scoop of pre-workout and then a full scoop of oxy shred because you know oxy shred is a non-stimulant so there's not the pre-workout things up in it so i'm excited because i'm already feeling the things <laughs> um i was supposed to wake up this morning but let's talk about it one thing that i really wanted to talk about today Today I came to the realization that no longer will I beat myself up or wake up and be mad at myself because I did not wake up in the morning to work out. Because at the end of the day, Mackenzie, you continue to show up for yourself and you work out every single day. You always show up to the gym. Why am I beating myself up because I didn't wake up in the morning? And mind y'all, it's not even that I don't wake up in the morning to go to the gym. Waking up knowing that I'm going to the gym, it just helps me get up early. If I don't have an excuse outside of work to get up early, I'm not getting up. So I need to just focus on getting up so I can just have a normal get myself together routine with the Lord before I go into work. Because y'all, I can't, I have to stop being that girly, but right now I am very much so that girly that just rolls out of bed, brushes her teeth. Thank God that I just have a curly fro and I shake it and I go to work. Yes, I do. But I don't like doing that because I go to work and I'm cranky. I'm not ready for the day. And I I just don't like showing up to work like that. Like, I'm just not there yet. Like, I'm still sleep in my spirit. And so, uh, ideally, what I want to do 
is wake up at 5 30 and have my Jesus time like I used to and one thing I'm trying to get away from is saying I used to do this why can't I do this when in this season I used to do this it's like Kinsey what may have worked in that season may not be the formula that's going to work for you in this season and that is okay I realized I've been beating myself up because I've been trying to figure out why the formula that I used in one season isn't the formula that's working for me in this season because I'm thinking it worked back then so it needs to work for me now but I'm understanding that it's not working for me now and that is okay that does not mean that anything is wrong with me that does not mean that I am failing that simply just means that it's time to adjust and figure out okay baby what does work um so with that being said if it is more so natural for me to sleep in and if it is more so natural for me to come to the gym after work, then that is just going to be what it is. If it's, um, it is still going to be a challenge for me to wake up at a decent time, but we're still going to get that together. So tomorrow, my goal is to wake up at, we're going to say 6 a.m. on the dot. Because y'all, I've been waking up at like 7 a.m., 7.20, and that's just not okay. I don't like that at all. Um, but we're still going to get that together, but oh my goodness. Today, I just finally decided, why am I being so mean to myself? Because I didn't wake up this morning. I really don't like that. I need to give myself some grace. Like, you're acting like you don't work out. And if I am to be very much so honest, yes, I do love working out in the morning. But the biggest con about working out in the morning is that I have to rush. Because, especially on leg day, y'all, I love to kill my legs on leg day. And I be doing the most. You can't do that in the morning. Because you got places to go and things to do unless i went back to coming here at 3 a.m and who knows maybe that kenzie will be back one day um but i just realized in this very present moment in this season she's not here so think about the kenzie that was waking up at 3 a.m to get to the gym is crazy that's wild to me but anyway y'all i'm so excited so i've been good like with my eating and everything but as of last Wednesday, I know that I gave you guys a weigh-in. So I have lost three pounds. I know that hasn't, that's not like a huge number, but slow and steady, slow and steady wins the race. I'm not mad about it. I'm just finally excited to see the scale go down and not go up. So that means that it is working. And the fact that I weighed this morning and it was three pounds down, even though I had a Kaniac combo last night, wild. That means if I didn't have that Kaniac combo, I'm probably like five pounds down, but it's fine. I'll take it. I still need to measure myself because I felt like, I don't know what's been going on, but my stomach is looking a lot better because y'all know it's gotten bad when you look pregnant, but baby is not pregnant. My stomach looks a lot better and I'm so thankful. But anyway, y'all, before I talk y'all ears off, they got sin news on a window. That is funny. I'm about to go in here. Like I told y'all, it is leg day. I am excited. I'm going to go in here and watch the sermon Glory Triggers. Um, of course, it's a sermon that I've seen before, but I just felt like it was on my spirit that it's going to amp me up and be exactly what I need for me to watch it again. So I'm excited about that. Um, depending on what it's looking like, I'll probably do my cardio first and then do weights. Y'all know usually I was doing my weights first and then my cardio after, but at this point, I just go in and see what the vibes is looking like and then I take it from there. Um, but yeah yeah i'm so excited it's so crazy because today when i was at work i was on tiktok and it's wild how many people are so obsessed with like this jackie Ina. i think that's how you say her name this jackie Ina situation and how many people literally will obsess themselves over these influencers they don't even know and i'm just like how wild is it that you are such a big influencer that all these people are making these videos about you Shoot, I just hope to make it that big one day because what? You got power like that. You got influence like that. Today was one hell of a workout. First of all, let's start with saying I burned 988 calories. Definitely had some frustrations to take out. So this is like the wildest thing. And I love when God confirms that I can hear from him because I feel like there's so many times where I'm questioning if our relationship is as solid as I think it is simply because I know that I waver. I know that God never goes anywhere, but I know that I be roller coastering, and I'm just like, 
is our connection still just as strong? And I feel like today he definitely confirmed that, baby, you still hear from me. And not only do you hear from me, like very clearly, very much so. So y'all literally heard me say before I went into the gym, he was telling me to listen to Glory Triggers. And I was like, I've already listened to that sermon many times, but I was like, I just felt like that was a sermon he was calling me to listen to. So I was like, bet we gonna rock with it. Y'all, I get into the gym and for those that have been rocking with me since the beginning, y'all know my tr main two trauma points in my life are my mama and my ex-best friend. Um, the ex-best friend that basically ghosted me for I don't know what reason to this day. I don't know. And I've never spoken to her again. Um, haven't seen her in years. And I saw her today. And there is no way that God could transform my life and then bring me back to this moment to take me backwards. So God, if you got me standing in the place of the pain, then maybe I got something to inform the pain. Somebody's got some information for your past. Somebody's got a revelation about who you were. God says, Not every trigger is meant to destroy you. Some triggers are meant to deliver you. Some triggers are meant to help you go back and get the pieces of yourself that you thought you would never get back again. God says some of these triggers are meant to help you heal. And I just thought that was so wild. And so many thoughts were going through my mind as I had saw her because I'm just like, the provision of God and God is so kind because God knew that if he didn't set me up for success to be prepared for that moment, I would have been so mad at God. I would have probably reverted back to old ways like, God, why me? Why would you do me like this? Why would you put me in this scenario? Why would you all these things? But in that moment, I'm looking at her and I'm sitting up here listening to a sermon that is literally telling me, I don't always send you back to places that trigger you to destroy you. Sometimes I will send you back to those same places that trigger you to collect all of those pieces that you thought you lost, to collect all of those pieces that when you were broken, you thought you would never get back. Sometimes I will send you back to those places that triggered you so you can see how far you've come. Boy, how on time. I'm literally speechless. It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. Um, we didn't like have a run in or anything like I just saw her while I was on the treadmill. Um, it's still wild to this day because that's definitely someone like I would have thought would have been my sister until the day that I died. You know what I mean? And so after I got off the treadmill, because I'm still an emotional girl, I definitely like put some worship music on and I definitely cried it out for like a good three minutes. But like I'm good. But I cried it out and it wasn't necessarily sad tears. It was more so just I'm thankful that I still hear my father's voice. I'm thankful that he's kind enough to have prepared me for a situation like that. I'm thankful that he was literally, I felt like he was wrapping his arms around me like, hey, you're about to walk into something. I know this is going to hurt you, but listen to what I'm telling you. And it just sucks too, because it's one of those things where I think the biggest lesson that I learned with um, our friendship is that sometimes you'll never have the answers that you're looking for and you're just going to have to learn how to make peace with it and move on anyway. Um, but I think that was part of the reason why I was crying because I'm like, dang, like I really wanted to grow with you. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> But it's okay because God has blessed me with some beautiful friends, friends that I would say are better fitting. Um, and I'm sure he's blessed her with better friends and friends that are better fitting for her. And yeah, it's okay. So I'm proud of how far I've come because the old Mackenzie would have took that very hard. The old Mackenzie would have been like, God hates me because why would he put me in that predicament? 
But the Mackenzie now is able to see that the devil is pulling out all of his tricks. So I must be on the cusp of something. The Mackenzie now is seeing that I just graduated. <laughs> because I tell everybody, like when they get to know me, and it's funny, I have my for real therapy session on Friday, like my two main trigger points and like trauma areas for me, I feel like are my mama and her. And so for that to be something that came up today, I'm just like, what am I on the brink of? Um, I'm just proud that I still hear my father's voice. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. It is Thursday. It is 516. We are almost done with our little pre-workout. We are not feeling like being here, but we are here. The only reason why I don't feel like being here today is because my period is on the way. And I started cramping, not crazy, but like enough to make me want to sit the hell down. And literally I was at work and I said, let me go go my pre-workout before I change my mind. And sometimes that's just what you're going to have to do. Because I knew that if I was not sipping on this pre-workout, I probably would have drove straight home. I probably would have drove straight home. But when I tell y'all, I'm more serious than ever because once my face starts rounding out to a beautiful, perfect circle, I done gone too far. I done gone too far and I can't go no further. And I'm not gonna go no further. Um, so yeah, mm -mm. And I also cheated. I didn't cheat today, so I need to stop. I need to change my terminology. Um, but usually I intermittent fast, but today I simply wanted a breakfast sandwich. And so I allow myself to have a breakfast sandwich. Uh, I have been obsessed with Panera. First of all, I'm, I've never been to Panera in my life, y'all. I'm a very basic picky eater. I don't try a lot of new things. And let me tell you something. Y'all have heard me say it before. This is why I don't try new things because I have addictive personality and I get addicted and I get addicted very easily. It don't take much at all. I tried a Panera sandwich because my boss had bought me one. And I think it's called a bacon double take. And it's on focaccia bread has provolone and american cheese in it has double bacon and a big thing of egg it is the best breakfast sandwich there is so much flavor in it baby let me tell you so if they had a sauce if they had some type of drizzle some type of something oh jesus that sandwich would be bomb i mean it already is bomb but baby let me tell you something a little drizzle or something would have take took it up would have took it up but it's definitely a 10 to 10 in my book, it is still a 10 out of 10. Um, it's only 560 calories, by the way. It is $7.59. And so I really wanted that, and that was on my heart today. So I'm still tracking my calories. So everything is still good. So I had that for breakfast. And then today I had, for lunch, they had SMB burgers. And I love them. And so I ended up getting a burger. I think I told you guys earlier in the vlog that I wasn't going to get the burgers. But hear me out. What had happened was, so boom. I got canes that day, right? And I said, okay, if I get canes, I won't have SMBs. But I don't think the math was mathing in my head because I make four dinners and four lunches, right? So this morning when I opened up my refrigerator, I say refrigerator, my mama told me when I was little, I would say refrigerator. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I opened up the refrigerator and whenever I got in there, these people be looking at me because I be blogging and it'd be so weird. Mind your business. Anyway. So I opened up the fridge and I only had one dinner left. And the math is math and I just didn't think about it correctly. One dinner left and one lunch left and two dinners. And I was like, well, if I take the lunch today, what am I gonna have for lunch tomorrow? And I was like, no, I'll have SMBs today and I'll have my chicken and rice tomorrow because I'm gonna keep eating my dinner tonight and tomorrow. So yeah, at the end of the night, I'll see how many calories I end up with. Um, of course, I'll probably skip on the hash brown tonight because I don't need no more carbs in my life. I've had a lot of bread today and that, that don't help because you already know your period come, you be feeling bloated. So I just feel very heavy, which is another reason I wanted to come to the gym just to get this heavy feeling off of me. So I'm going to do what I'm able to do um, and sit in the sauna and you know i'm just happy that i showed up you know we're all about giving ourselves grace and just making it do what it's going to do and just happy that we're able to move our bodies so period okay i'm finished this 
y'all it's crazy because like even though i feel like it's slowly it's really slow process like me getting my motivation back to be this content creator that i've always felt like being or the content creator that i envision myself to be i was literally crying to my friend because i was like i feel like i've just dropped the ball i felt like i gained all of this momentum creating my youtube channel i gained all of this momentum putting all of this work into creating a fan base on TikTok just for me to go into this depressive mode and lose everything and then i have to remember like at the end of the day kenzie you're not driving you are not in the driving seat god is so god knows what he is doing god accounted for this god knew this was going to happen so wipe your tears see what it is that needs to be learned and pick it back up and keep going and i was like mm -hmm. You're right. Sarah has a sermon where she says, baby, you just got to be comfortable being in the wilderness and know that God is going to see you through. I think so many of us, we just like to rush out of the wilderness and that's me. Get me out of here now. But no, she's like the chosen ones. And I believe I am chosen. Yeah, you got to be comfortable being in the wilderness. And it's crazy thinking about that because um, the therapist session that I had last week, that was like the consultation one of the little dot 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 questions that she had she was like um in the future i see dot 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 it was something like that and i said wild success and she was like tell me about that and i was like i was crying and all because from other questions she asked me and i was like baby listen i said i don't know what's going on but i know i got a calling on my life so i don't know what the lord has planned for me but i know it is nothing that i could even think or imagine so i know that success is coming if i just keep on keeping on okay and that's exciting that's exciting there's so many sit down videos i feel like i need to make with you guys but it's feel like i be feeling like the devil be trying to fight me on it because i'm such a person where i lose track so quickly i lose my train of thought very quickly and i've always been a person where i feel like i can't articulate my thoughts very well which is why I stray from sit down videos, which is why probably God's like, duh, bullet pointed on some paper and stay on track like I do with my clients. I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. Get me together then. Get me together then. Um, but anyway, back on to see, I'm already losing the train of thought on why I even brought that up in the first place. Oh, because that is such a topic that I be wanting to talk about. The lesson that I have learned with moving into this new house, I know that we be hearing people talk about it, but it is nothing to hear people talk about it until you experience it for yourself. Not saying that I thought that moving into this house was going to solve all of my problems, but like I sure thought it was going to be like a new level. I wouldn't deal with certain things anymore. No, baby. I don't want to say that they're worse, but like Now I can see why people be rich AF and they're still wanting to off themselves because you're still moving all these places, going to all these beautiful places, but baby, you're still stuck with you. You are still stuck with you. Boy, y'all, let me find out. I need to get me a little nook in my house so we can just sit down and talk. We're going to get it together. I promise y'all, just keep bearing with me. Just keep bearing with me. I got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're about to go work out. Okay, Buki, so I'm back from the gym. It is 827, and honestly, I've been done with the gym for a while. It was a really good upper body day. I focused on back and shoulders, and baby, I am spit. I am so proud that I went to the gym today because the way that I started feeling some cramps, I was so close to being like, baby, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Um, but the reason I said that I was... Um, I've been done at the gym for a while is because I am craving sweets. I'm really craving candy, but I'm also trying to make, oh, I'm having cramps as we speak. I'm really craving candy and I don't want to make bad decisions because I've had such a great week. So I decided to take the time out because y'all know I told you guys I was obsessed with cherry plums and the only place that I was able to find them was Sprouts. And I was literally on the phone with my friend. I was like wanting to cry because like I like fruit. But cherry plums has been the first fruit that I'm like, I can truly replace candy with this. Like, yes, all fruit was good, but like, I still wanted my candy though. But cherry plums? No, baby, I'm obsessed. So I had to go to Sprouts and I was about to cry because I couldn't find them. 
But I found these and it's so funny because like, I'm just so particular for no reason. The last time I bought them, they were cherry plums. These are plum cherries and they're like maybe twice the size. So they're this big. And like, they better taste the same. They better taste the same. And if they do taste the same, then I'm going back to get like three bags of them. Yeah. But we're going to see what these calories are looking like because I don't like how like fruits, I know that they're fruits, but like still, what's the calories? Because why you don't got no calories on here? So I'm going to have to see. But at the end of the day, I'd rather overeat on fruit than overeat on some candy. So that is what it is. So I got that from Sprout, so I'm super happy with that. And then I got some more of my vital proteins, my collagen, because I literally just ran out of this like a day ago. And for whatever reason, it was like $15 cheaper at Sprouts, which is wild to me because Sprouts, girl, she is, get out of there. This dog is in my room, staring at the mirror, barking at herself. Anyway, it's wild to me that it's more expensive at Walmart because I think Walmart is close to $40. Ariana, Ariana, stop it. Stop it. But I passed this and it's at 27 and something just told me like 27 sounds cheap. And it was, it was indeed. So I'm super excited that I got that. And so I'm about to take a shower. I don't know what it is. I still have to eat dinner. It's 8.30. Um, I wish I could have ate dinner sooner, but at the end of the day, it is what the freak it is and it is what it's gonna be. I need to eat, but for whatever reason, I need to shower first. I feel like I enjoy my food better when I'm showered and I'm like in a vibe. Am I the only one like that? Um, but I know that earlier I said I wasn't gonna have a hash brown because I've had so many carbs today, but I take that back. Because of my exercise, I'm not one to like eat my calories back. However, comma, I worked out so hard, I have like over a thousand, I think it's like over 1200 calories or something remaining for the day. So, <laughs> Why not? Why can't I have my hash brown with my eggs and sausage? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I ain't going to have a problem with it. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I'm super excited because it's going to be my therapy session. We still going to make it to the gym. And yeah, we just going to have us a good time. So hopefully y'all can hear me because I just realized these headphones is out. If I've been talking this whole time and y'all can hear me, I'm going to be pissed. Hey, babes. It is Friday. It is 516. I don't have a lot of energy right now. I'm cramping my life away. My time of the month is in full effect. Um, therapy starts today, so I'm currently in the parking lot. It starts in 12 minutes. So I'm um, just kind of gathering myself. If I'm to be honest, I'm not in the mood for it um, because I am cramping and I feel like I'm extra vulnerable. I feel like I'm about to be crying in the first three minutes. Um, I was really close to rescheduling, but I was like, I felt like that's what the enemy would want me to do. So I was like, we're definitely not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, we're here. I'm about to turn this camera off and I was gonna pray and just kind of soak and see what the Lord has to say to me. And then we're gonna go into this and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna talk about it. Um, but honestly, the vlog might end here and the new vlog may start with everything that happened but it really just depends how everything goes because if i'm to be honest a part of me wants to start a black girl going to therapy series and everything that i uncover tell me what y'all think about that black girl goes to therapy theory black girl going to therapy series um i thought that would be cool and it would probably be more so like 10 minute videos of just nuggets that were uncovered um so everyone doesn't have to watch these vlogs to see what happened but i think that would be cool i brought my little popper thing so i know that i can fidget in things even though it may annoy her um so yeah i'm already wanting to emotionally eat i was like let me go grab some canes real quick but we're staying strong here's where i am with my water so we're doing really good i don't know if you can really see it um, I am still planning on going to the gym, even though I'm cramping my life when I really don't feel like it. Whew. I know if anything, I can at least sit down on a bike. At the end of the day, I know sweating is going to make me feel better. So after this, she said it should last about an hour and a half. After this, I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat my chicken and rice because I forgot to get it on the way out the house this morning. 
I got that Panera sandwich for breakfast again today. I did. And I felt like I deserved. I did. I sure did. So I got that again for breakfast this morning. My cramps have been so bad. I literally have not had anything else since because I was like, you will be nauseous. Um, but anywho, so I'm going to eat my chicken and rice and I'm going to be good and very demure, very mindful, y'all. Anyway, if y'all are annoyed by that, I'm so sorry. Just erase that from your mind. Um, but anywho, I'm going to eat my chicken and rice when I get home. And then I'm going to force myself to go to the gym and sit in the sauna. Sure, I'm going to have a great time. And then I'll probably come home and just so I can make sure I get my calories in for my protein goals. We're still going to eat that other meal prep with my eggs and my sausage. Um, oh, I forgot to call them. I'm going to wake up and call them. Spency needs to go in and get her allergy appointment or her allergy shot for tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, y'all, I got 10 minutes. I'm stalling. I need to go talk to the Lord. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back. It was exactly a little over an hour. Exactly a little over an hour. That don't make sense. Um, I am a little emotional, but it's okay. I'm about to go home and eat. We're going to go right to the gym. We didn't get, like, deep, deep into it, but it was, like, the initial assessment. So, of course, y'all know I can never remember my thoughts. And it's so funny because I'm sure we're going to get into this. But I was trying to help unpack why I feel the way that I feel. And I felt like I've gone through so many times of people dismissing my feelings where I start to question if my own reality even happened. So I forget what I even go through because I've gone through so many people dismissing what I even said happened, happened. Y'all see what I'm trying to say? Anyway, um, she asked me just so many things of like, experience violence in the household and the experience violence in the household and it was funny because I was like I mean you know like you know black people households you know they give whoopings and stuff like that but I was like I don't know if like getting beat to the point where I had welts on my body and had to go to school in the summertime with sweaters and pants on was like normal and she said, no, baby, that's not normal, even in a black household. Tears. And then just like certain questions that she was asking, tell me about that. If you could describe this, tell me about that. And first of all, there's just... <sighs> yeah, we're about to end this vlog because already I'm just like Kinsey. There is no reason she asked me, what are three things you do well? Why couldn't I answer that question? I couldn't answer the simple question. What are three things you do well? That was a B. I thought it was in my car. Why couldn't I answer that question? Are there things you do well? Uh. Y'all know I just started my period too, so I think I'm just really emotional, but like, why couldn't I answer what is it that I do well? And then she asked me three words used to describe yourself. And I'm like, How can I describe me? I think I said like happy, lively, and caring, which is true. But why am I so hesitant? It's like, do you even know who you are? Oh, oh my gosh. So anyway, y'all, we're about to start a series. Black girl goes to therapy. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Can I show my